Okay, I'm recording again, goddamn. And the fuck, I don't know what the fuck happened. Nicki Minaj sent the barbs after you. Ah! Already did. Mm hmm. She knew you was talking about her. She could hear you talking about her. Diva, so you was upset because Cardi B. I mean, because Nicki Minaj been fucking with Cardi B for a little while. For a little while. I think everybody knows that Nicki Minaj fucks with a lot of people and acts like doesn't know who you're talking about or know what you're talking about. She, um, Diva, I don't, I, I'm just like, I'm pissed off. I I'm legitimately pissed off. Like you, this, this, it, it's, it's so much that I, I want to say. I got I to gotta slow down. Okay, let's start from, we're going to start from the uh, the altercation. Sorry. So the altercation happened on Saturday, was it? So it was, the, it was a bu- the buzz all Saturday. Everybody's talking, the people going back and forth. What happened? Speculation. We don't know what happened. Cardi B's overreacting. Cardi B is ghetto. Nicki Minaj is classy. Car- Nicki Minaj got what she deserved. She need to keep that same energy. Why the fuck Nicki wasn't talking all that shit she be talking when she's, you know, in in the studio or when she's on Queen Radio or whatever. You talking all that shit and when this girl steps to you, now you standing behind all these security guards yeah. trying to say that you trying that you were you were being you was you was trying to be classy. But right. I thought you was sunning bitches. That's that's here's right. that's what I don't understand. I hope they, I thought they can get it. Everybody can get it, right? She's sunning people, telling people to suck her dick and everything like that. You got to keep the same energy. If you're talking shit, wherever you're talking shit, online, on the on record, on it, Instagram. When you see that person that you were talking shit about, you have to keep that same energy. <laughs> I don't give a damn where you are if you talking shit when i step to you you be better be talking the same shit right and that's just what it is so, and so i think one thing we, we need to like really like clear up is it does not matter where you're at when it's time to fight when when when, when you are, when you see someone who has been Talking all this shit about you, about your family, whoever. It, it don't even have to be that deep. You you run your fucking you you run your beef suckers. You have my name in your beef suckers. So I'm gonna pop you in them when I see you. Because I'm not that girl. Basically, Cardi is basically telling me I'm not that girl to argue. I'm going to want to fight, whether we're, I get my ass beat or not. Bitch, I'm coming at you. We're fighting. She stuck with her word. She been saying that, and you know that's the same shit. I don't understand what you, why people thought it was gonna be any different. She talks the same shit on her records, and she's and she's backing it up in person. I don't do all that talking. Was she gonna do what to who? Let me find out and see. You know where I'm at. You know where I be, <laughs> bitch. I don't understand why. So now she's ghetto. Cardi B is now being called ghetto. A lot of our people are calling her ghetto because that she, <laughs> she she's ghetto and not classy because she got into a fight in front of white people. Had she, <laughs> they should keep that. They should keep that love and hip hop shit over there with that love and hip hop shit. I don't understand what who y'all think. What y'all think this right. is? This is rap music. This is the music industry, and these are people's lives. And, and you talking about people like it's all fun and games and it's jokes. And because you're not really who you are in your lyrics, Nicki Minaj, you finally went up against a girl who really is who she are, who she is in her lyrics. And she's, if she, I only thing I really, you know, I'm not really, I, I, I don't advocate, you know, violence, but I do advocate of somebody, a bully being confronted. I do advocate that. I do advocate that you've been talking You've been talking shit about me all this time. I advocate that somebody's going to go and when I see you, I'm going to touch you every time I see you because you want to talk about me every time right. on record or wherever the hell you want to talk about me. So when I see you, I'm going to touch you. Right. And it is what it is. It's on site because that's what I do. 
That's what I do. So I don't know why anybody's expecting anything from um, Cardi B. I don't know why anybody thinks that this the Harper's Bazaar um, fashion show event is some goddamn the fucking royal wedding. It isn't. This motherfucker's in right. there partying. It's a party. It's a party. <laughs> it's fighting. <laughs> it's drugs. Probably some fucking. I mean, what? And then if it and even if it was, who? Why are y'all performing for white people? Why is it that you have to right. behave for white people? We that's over with. We don't do that no more. Right. We don't give it's a fuck who's around. It's, it's not even entertainment, bitch. If I'm if I'm mad at you about something, I'm gonna fight you. I don't give a fuck who's around. I don't care. Right. So I, I'm really I'm just really and I don't understand why everybody is so classy. Nicki Minaj is so classy now. That bitch is she, classy. <laughs> she she just, before she's been acting a damn fool this, since Cardi B came out. <laughs> she don't know what the fuck to do. Really? She all over the place. The bitch now doing charity work. She ain't never did that shit. She finally talking to her barbs. She ain't never talked to y'all hoes. Mm. She giving motherfuckers. She giving money away now. She ain't never did that either. She giving money. Th- this bitch not. She get. She want clout so bad. She got a fucking radio show. I know. So she, so people can hear. <laughs> That's crazy. You got a radio show. Bitch? I think it's genius. I think the radio. radio- I think I think the radio show is actually genius because she gets to say it and talk her shit. But in the same vein, just like you get just like you get to talk your shit when somebody steps to you in the street that you talking shit about on this radio show, bitch. Keep that same energy. That's all we saying. You got to be careful because it, it, Cardi B, whoever it is, keep that same energy. Keep it. You want to. You you want to you want to fight you want to get into arguments you want to talk your shit the other day you so classy you said you wanted to punch Travis Scott in his face <laughs> that's classy that's so right. that is so classy girl and she's got all this money what is her her money having to do with everybody anybody anybody let's, can get touched let's talk about that what these people what y'all what people need to take out of this equation is the money aspect that at the end of the day that's they're two people. They're people. Money don't... You People allow money to clout their judgment, but, bitch, I don't give a fuck how much money I got in the goddamn bank. Or but where I you think, are. Oh, like, bitch, who the fuck? We I don't know you. no one who... And maybe, you know, it, it's gonna take me some time. But I check people where you... Wherever I'm at. I know people who add the damn, and let me tell you a little story about money. It don't matter how much goddamn money you got. Whoever you are, that's who you are at the end of the day. I got a friend who has a grandmother who has a, she's she stacked. She's been from Tokyo to goddamn as far as the fucking Africa and shit. <laughs> this, bitch, this, this bitch still going Macy's to switch tags <laughs> to get shit for people. That don't, money don't stop shit. If you ghetto, you hood, you bought that life. It, <laughs> She's not gonna do anything. <laughs> she still to this day go and make the switch tag. <laughs> and she got money, diva. Money. No. The bitch just came, literally she just came back from China. Switching tags. It makes it switching tags. If you see her, she's switching tags. If you go to Green Bar Mall in Atlanta. She may be in there switching. Tags. Switching tags. <laughs> Diva, I don't. So, so Nicki Minaj is. I mean, Nicki Minaj is classy. She handled it in a classy way, because you know the white people were watching, and so you know you got to behave a certain way. You know when they when they come, you better act a certain way, because we don't want them to think we acting out of line. We don't want to get no whoopings. (laughs) Carter didn't see the motherfucking folks. He don't care about them people. I don't know why. Right. I, I, I keep telling y'all, I don't know what y'all expect out that girl. Every day, every time I talk about her, I, I my thing is, I don't know what you expect out of that girl. Right. I don't what know y'all, what, what do y'all want from her. What do y'all this want girl, from her? Honey, grandma still, they still in the hood. They still in the same. Well, no. What do you want from her? She hasn't done anything to her. At the end of the day, nothing. What warranted? Let's, let's, what let's, warranted? Let's, let's, what warranted you liking a negative comment about her since you so 
a black woman empowerment. Since you want to pull that card, you want to act like you so. We, we're it, talking about this black woman narrative. Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about that. So you <laughs> empowering black women. So if if you're so empowering the black women, and and to before today's Queen Radio show, you had all this. You don't know. You don't have nothing against her. You wish her success, but today you real rah rah loud, acting like you don't know where this energy is coming from. You've been fucking with this girl. I, I, oh. thought, I thought she, I thought she was fighting the microphone for a minute. Diva. Yeah, that's what I was fighting the microphone for. She's hollering and screaming in the microphone. I mean, she's screaming to the top of her fucking mouth. Why wasn't you doing that at the fashion week? Right. I don't understand. Oh, because the white I mean, people were there. That's yeah. why. The white right. people. Bitch, the white. They, Carter had already turned it out. Honey. Oh, Cardi had a bump on her head. Yeah, I, y'all, y'all gotta understand when people, when you bother people and you keep messing with them, one day they gonna fuck, they gonna get back at you. I was, I said, you know, school bullies. I mean, kids shoot up schools mm-hmm. because they tired of their damn bullies. They get angry <laughs> and they and the emotions are high. And I, you know, after a while, the girl said. I don't have, they both said, I don't have nothing against each other. But Cardi also said, I don't have nothing against you. If you don't have nothing against me, I don't have nothing against you. As soon as you have something against me, I have something against you. And I don't talk. I use my hands. These hands. Right. That's what she, she already done told y'all. She, she tells y'all, y'all say she don't write her raps. But in all her raps, she's saying that she, if a bitch has something to say, she's going to walk up to her and, and it's going to be a confrontation. And that's what she did. So... If Nikki write her rap, she's not living her rap, so that's a lie. So she's lying on on her tracks. And if Cardi right. doesn't write it, she's living her raps. So which is it? Right. And so what? She don't. Everybody has a writer. So what? You not you not these actresses and actors who go to these fucking who act in these movies. They don't write the fucking. They don't write that shit. They don't write the script. I <laughs> don't. <No. laughs> but you still paying money to see them motherfucking actors. <laughs> act. You are paying them to see them act, and that's what you're right. paying them to do. See the act. Okay, so so let's see. I think she was waiting. Waiting. Do you think Cardi was waiting for the right, just the right reason to be like, okay, bitch, that's it. I think so. I, I, you this this is my thing. You never know how someone is going to react to the things that you say to them. You never know. You you you, you don't know. It could have Carter could just have snapped. And that was her breaking she point. By, she could have just walked by that bitch and fucking snapped. It's Everything could have came to her in that one moment. And and you know she, and you're right because I think that was her breaking point. Like okay, now you liking you're liking something that's a negative comment about my children. I thought kids were off limits, but I guess not because what um, Nicki Minaj came after or said something about Kylie Jenner's kid. Stormy, that Stormy, her and Stormy were the cause of her not going number one because Kylie went on on uh, made an Instagram post supporting her baby's father, and that's taking away money from her. Well, well, you know she don't give a fuck about no goddamn kids because her brother around here ain't right. he a pedophile? Shit? Yeah, convicted. So she could give a damn about a child. Diva, she said she would never say anything about that about that woman about anybody's kids. But didn't you say something about Remy Ma's son and in, in the this record? I'm 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 so tired of this. I really don't like. I mean, like I always feel like everybody say I'm so hard on her, but this demonstration and these behaviors, and then she gonna get on Queen Radio talking about all this stuff that all the stuff that she's done. She's saying that Cardi's doing, which is so fucking weird to me and it's, she? she said that cardi tried to keep some male rapper from being on a song with her but that's what you do i thought you were the queen <laughs> how, who, fuck, who, how can cardi somebody. b keep somebody from doing a song with you right girl diva she, got- she said I'm not a bitch in the strip club. I'm not a bitch on reality show on a reality show. So she's talking about people on reality shows. No, she's talking about her. She's talking about her. Um, and then I just don't understand the responses, the responses that she's ghetto. 
and I feel like everybody says somebody is ghetto, but everybody everybody says she's likable. What is so ghetto about somebody confronting somebody who's been talking shit about them? What is ghetto about that? Right. Because it was in front of right. some white people? Y'all want to say that it's ghetto? Mm-hmm. No, this is somebody okay. tired okay. of somebody saying shit, talking shit. That girl... And I'm, that girl has said nothing about her. And then she's going to get on her radio station and call out all the things, all the negative things that have happened in, since Cardi B has got on the got on the scene. The things that she said about a, a girl that she called a girl a roach. And then Nicki Minaj says, you coming into my culture. What are you talking about? First of all, right. hip-hop started in the Bronx. Cardi B is from the Bronx. You from Queens. She's Trini and, and Dominican, and you Trini, but you're saying that she's stealing from your culture. How is she stealing from your her, your culture? Right. This her, That's her culture, too. Right. What the fuck? Unless you're trying to say, what, she coming into the rap gang? Is, this what you, is that what you, is that the culture you're talking about? I don't know. She can't, I don't know what she's talking about, black culture. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about, but I don't understand what, why, let me, let me get this, let me fix this thing. So And then, and then she got these motherfuckers, these, uh, I want to talk about that when you talked about, um, that love and hip hop comment she made. Ain't them two big bitches that you with come from love and hip hop or reality? (laughs) Right. That's the whole y'all standing with. She basically saying, y'all ain't shit for doing that. And no, Ra Ali was on, she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta and Love and Hip Hop. Uh, but y'all standing with this hoe. And she basically saying, I ain't one of them Love and Hip Hop girls. <laughs> Reality TV. Diva, I don't understand it. I, I'm really, I really am like, I was really upset earlier because I'm like, I don't understand why people are really trying to separate this whole thing. Like she's get, I just, the real thing that's bothering me the most about it is that people saying that she's ghetto, she's ghetto and how we are responding to how we govern ourselves in white spaces. I don't like that. I don't like that. If I feel like in every last person, human walking, no matter where you were raised, has their breaking point after somebody's been fucking with them. Mm-hmm. And that was her opportune time. Where else was she going to see her? Right. I, I only wish that she got closer to her before she started acting a damn fool. Me too. I, 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 I want that's, to- that's why I kind of believe that she really <laughs> didn't want to fight her, that she's just really letting her know, bitch, it can go down at any moment. Understand this. Cause I really could have just walked up to you on some "Hey, girl," right, and snatched that hair, and we would have been fighting. But you sunning bitches. Then Nicki Minaj, when the, all the all the hoopla went on, she's in the front of the damn venue, posing on the car and doing all of this. It's all a show. It's all a performance. Right. All of it is fake, and she's telling you it's fake. I know she's because if she was if she was as bothered as she put on display when she got out of that fashion week, that episode of Queen Radio would have been totally different. Mm-hmm. If you were really concerned and giving this girl advice and thinking something's wrong with her, because everything that she said on Queen Radio today was really her projecting, and mm-hmm. it's stuff that she's done mm-hmm. or is doing. Not not supporting women, keeping people from working, trying to take somebody's bag. And then she's trying to say, you just had a baby two weeks ago. You out here trying to attack bitches. First of what all, what <laughs> this, listen, the, and I see, this is what I didn't like about her. And this is where I say that Nicki Minaj is very deceptive. You talking about Cardi B's situation with Offset and the situation of and this thing where she allegedly got these two girls jumped. This don't have nothing to do with you liking a, a, a comment about my child and my parenting skills, bitch. One thing don't have nothing to do with each other. Let, let's, let's, let's talk about that. You come into my culture. What else did she say? Diva, what, where's your phone? You on your phone? No. Oh. What else she said? Um, I said, what else did she say that kind of set me off? Oh, that comment she made about um and she she's so she's never direct she's never fucking direct no she's not but she that comment she made about you putting your hands on people you'll die yeah what's that what was that about is that a a threat they said it wasn't a threat that she was just warning her that she has that she has a lot of money and she don't want me me running 
<laughs> that shit is crazy to me. I think the whole thing is really. She said, Nikki also, it says, I want to let the world know that Onika Tanya Mirage will never speak ill of anyone's child. I'm not a clown. That's clown shit. Okay, but hold on a second. Let me just read this real quick. That's clown shit, right? You're not talking about anybody's kids. You're not, then you, you want to talk. She called little Kim bubbles. So is, are you calling little Kim a monkey on one of your songs? Like she's in, and then, oh, she's embarrassing that Nikki, um, Cardi B is ghetto. She's embarrassing. Her. We don't perform for white people. Y'all, we don't, right. we, we're not, we're not doing that. It doesn't matter. Y'all all want to be, you know, you're afraid of how people who are going to think about you, regardless of how you act, will think about you based on how you act. They're going to think about you, that about you, regardless. You can be the goddamn, you can be quiet as fuck and you still ghetto. And you can be the goddamn president of the United States and, and they gonna call you ghetto. You can ghetto. be the, pre, the first lady of the United States and they gonna call you a monkey. So it don't matter. And everybody has their breaking point. When you fuck with people over and over and over again, you have to be prepared that you are going to see them in the circle that you run. Mm -hmm. Then Nicki Minaj on her radio show talking about, you know, I'm for women empowerment. Um, <laughs> you stopping the girl, other girls from getting a bag and this and that. Now, if you're for real, really for women empowerment, when she came hey, onto, onto the scene, uh -huh. you, you would have been, been right there, bitch. Do a song. Let's do a song together. We about to right. take this. Two bitches from New but York. You know what she took it though? You know what she took it with that? What? She, you remember when she when she first came out with Chung Lee and all that other bullshit? Uh-huh. And she said she should be honored to be on a song with me. Bitch, please. Honor for what? You right. stole little let, 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 let We still quiet. not over you still in little Kim's whole style, bitch. Right. We still I mean, not over that. Kept, she didn't need to be on no song with you. You on a tight rope, bitch. <laughs> You on a goddamn tight rope. You, you, uh, Diva. I don't, I, I, I'm with you. Like that whole ghetto shit pissed me off too. It's like, you calling this girl ghetto. Cardi is your mamas, your grandmamas, your aunties, your sisters, your cousins, your friends. Anybody. Anybody. Right. Everybody has their breaking point. This is the thing. Like, you got to think about it. No, let's like really think about it. Why did she confront you? Mm hmm. Supposedly everybody, oh, 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 we don't know. She just did it, so it just came out the sky, and she didn't want to act the fool. And she's been with her. They was just at the Met Gala together, taking pictures. That was mm -hmm. what was that four or five months ago? That maybe four months ago. Now all of a sudden she's popping off and getting all crazy for what? What's the reason? What triggered that? Right. Oh well, she can't respond to things that people that people say on the internet. But if somebody is liking a negative comment about you your parenting and yes she still might be in her emotional state just having a baby so i'm still in my protecting my cub you know what i mean like you talking about my kid and then i are i'm sure she already has everybody saying things about her being a mother she's 25 years old nikki's 35 years old about to be 36 years old cardi b's about to be 26 years old and you on your radio show talking all this shit about this girl. And what did she do to you? You're mad at her and brought all that energy to your radio show because she did. What she it was babe. reacting to something that you did. And now you flipping it around, making it seem like she's doing all these things to keep black women down. And she's coming into your culture. This is not your culture. That's her culture too. What the fuck? What kind of? I don't understand right. these cards she's pulling. I don't think she understands them. She just talk. She's really talking out. She sounds like a crazy person. Here's a no frauds lyric. What type of mother leave her one son over a stack? What kind of mother are you? You're talking about somebody being a mother. So this is the second time you didn't. First of all, you said it. the other one you're agreeing with it, so you agree with the comment. You liked it. Where would you just bookmarking it, bitch? And then you brought it back up. You, you you said it. You just had a baby two weeks ago. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? 
what what does that have to do? And 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 the the reason why we're here is because you like the negative comment. She said she didn't do it, and that's the thing that this is why I have a problem with Nicki Minaj because I don't like for my intelligence to be insulted. If you're doing something, stand in your shit and say you did something, bitch. Yes, I liked it. I thought it was funny, bitch. Move the fuck on. Now you want to fight me because I thought something was funny about something that something that was said about you? Stand in your si- son, the bitch. Son her. But now you want to be Roman? and and, and where's then, Roman? Right. Where's Roman? Where's motherfucking Chun Lee, bitch? Right. Where the plates say Chun Lee, bitch? You run Lee. You out of here. You running out of here. Quietly. <laughs> I'm standing right here. I never stopped a bag, definitely not any of yours, but you definitely stopped other women's bags. She's really saying about Cardi B what she's done. And hey, listen, maybe Cardi B is doing that. But you can't talk about nobody you did it. Right, right. You, you've you had so many people, and everybody can tell the same line. Ma has said it. Little Kim has said it. Kim Michelle has said it. Safari has said it. Safari, right. Everybody telling the same line on you? <laughs> they, they, they teamed up telling the shit on you? She said, the other night, I was a part of something so mortifying. You're so mortified by somebody trying to jump on you after you spent your whole career telling, saying these all you bitches are my sons and you're right. mortified. Somebody actually confronted you about the antics that you like to pull on the sneak. You are mortified and so humiliating to go through in front of the upper echelon. (laughs) 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 Uh, Upper echelon of people who are, you know, people who got to, who have their lives together. Half of them, no shade, half the models in there throwing up. Somebody sniffing, uh, they, they uh, honey. Up. Somebody, and 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 not, and nobody saying just because they're doing it doesn't make it right. Doesn't mean that you act a fool. But again, why did she react to something? She's reacting to something that you said. This is not unwarranted behavior. Y'all don't like the time and the place. Well, stay your ass at home if you talk shit about people. Right. You can't control quite, what somebody's gonna quite, how somebody's gonna confront you after you've been talking shit. Right. I mean, what, I, what you thought she was gonna walk by and not say anything? That's that's what you thought. And then she's gonna put something in her rap. Bitches walk by me and don't say anything. Uh huh. <laughs> I got bitches up. And then rhyme things six more times. Right. They iron my thing. Spying on my things. Trying to get on my radio show and things. Just, I kind of lost it. She 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 cannot handle Cardi's success, and she just needs to come out and say that it's a problem for her that Cardi is successful because of the way that Cardi came in. Cardi came from loving hip hop. Cardi comes from the hood. Cardi comes from Instagram. Mm, that's another. And she hates it. She hates it. She probably is equating. I had to do all of this to get into the game. I Cardi, had to get a fake booty. Cardi had to do none of that. Sorry, sis. Favor ain't fair. And, you know, Funky Don even made a good statement about it, you know, and I, which I think was something very telling about how long somebody is in the game and how Nicki Minaj is showing a lot of insecurities based on her actions because she wants to stay in a position that only holds a certain amount of time based on your age. And that's an unfortunate thing in the music industry. But at the same time, MC light has gone on. I hear her voice on every goddamn commercial, every goddamn always commercial. I hear MC lights voice. MC light does voiceover shit. Queen Latifah's doing shit. She's still directing, producing all of this stuff. So, really? when, so, so, so if, if you're not going to try to have a career, like someone like Jay Z, where we see growth, in your body of work as each record comes out we see a some growth that was the the critique of her last for this last album we don't see no growth you've been in the game since you was cardi b's age right 
and now you still talking about the same shit. Now you do have some cute songs on on, on uh, Queen. I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm. I'm a lover of music. I'll give you your props. Whatever. Um, you did. You know the Barbie Dream song is a remake from Biggie and Kim remade it after Biggie. So people, it's nothing new. She's not doing anything innovative or new. She's just remaking a song that Biggie and Little Kim did. Ironically, Diva, I need you to lift your eyes up. You know the camera stays on you the whole time, right? Did you know that? Dude, my eyes. Your eyes is closed. You look like Garfield. Oh my God. The cat. I need you to. The camera stays on you at all times. It's not like Google. But you got to be on. Yes. The camera is always rolling, Diva. Somebody might throw well, a shoe Diva, at not... you. I know. I said people throw a shoe at you. We don't want nobody to throw a shoe at you. I'm going to throw a shoe at you, Diva. I mean, bitch. <laughs> bitch, come here. I got my whole life. When she kept saying, bitch, come here. Bitch, bitch come, come here. here. I said, oh, no. I loved it. Like, come here and get this ass. Let's talk about my child again. <laughs> like, like something else about my child again. That was her breaking point. I don't see what the problem is. Me either. I, I'm, I'm with, I am with the shit. Y'all better stop I'm performing for white people. They don't give a fuck about you. You still a nigga. You know still you know what? nigga. The same people. And I was talking to this shit earlier. The same bitches that St. Carter was ghetto. There's not a time and a place where the same people supporting Portia fighting Kim. Oh. The same bitches. Oh, yeah. They, I, they was in ball gowns, too. Right. I had dialing one boy. He talked about but well, she deserved it. Nikki did. She did. Dude, what you doing? Dude, what you doing? Nothing. Being a lady. Girl, you ain't a lady. I'm a, mo- oh. a motherfucking lady. <laughs> I'm a motherfucking lady. A motherfucking lady. But I mean, you know, she really is very, what what is really funny is how deceptive she is to her fans and how she banks on them not even knowing what, what the phrases and words that she uses at the, our record industry speak. They don't know what the fuck she's talking about. They don't about. know. Bitch, I got, I don't give a fuck. I, it's this boy on Facebook now, this boy on Facebook now just asked what, what did he say? Go ahead, Dee. I'm looking for this. Okay, so listen. So here. Here she go. People always need to make Onika the bad guy. If you're right, you never have to make someone the bad guy. Just speak your truth. Girl, you are projecting. I love it. I love it. She really is talking about herself. Maybe the radio show is a way that she's really talking to herself. Because ain't no way she could be saying all these things about Cardi B. Now, now listen. To be fair. We don't know if Cardi B is actually keeping other women from making money. I don't think, she, I mean, Cardi been on every SZA, Kalani, fucking, um, what's the last song she was with? She always on a song with somebody. With them girls. She's always on a song with, she always on a song with somebody. So I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know, but Nikki got, Nikki, I don't know what she's talking about. I'm, she, she openly supports these new rap girls that's out. Sweetie. The city girls. Who? Um Cardi, Cardi B. B. Yes. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, she put up the eight hundred number for postpartum depression. She's trying to be funny. Bitch, that oh. postpartum depression was about to get your ass right upside your head. Uh-huh. The postpartum depression. How you know the girl's depressed? She's mad. She's a she's a raging lunatic because you didn't you didn't like something about her child. What? Now this what? is here's my and then it's like oh we're just so embarrassed about Cardi B and how she's acting. She that I, that's the one thing that really bothered me is how they keep saying the way she was acting in front of the white people. Don't nobody right. give a fuck. And then Azalea Banks got her happy ass. She didn't know what to do. Bitch, you wasn't invited. <laughs> That's your girl. <laughs> you know that's my girl too, but bitch, you wasn't invited. You up here just like us talking about it, bitch. What you said? Ooh, the girls are fighting Cardi B. I told y'all she was a bird. <laughs> I told y'all she was a bird. She need to keep her motherfucking mouth closed. Listen, she know, she know, she know she uh, uh, she's a bird, and you should know that. That that's why you should shut your mouth up about that girl. Cause you know she's going to want to fight. Right. It's no talking. She like that girl Megan from Bad Girls Club. I came here to fight. Right. All right that's it. <laughs> I, you you want to fight? Oh, I'm here to fight. 
<laughs> you want to fight? Y'all expect Cardi B. Y'all expect people to act. A, this is what y'all expect. Y'all expect people to have a get a little money and then start acting white. What you think mm-hmm. of acting white means? And then you are you are you're, you're and it's funny because you equate you equate a certain type of civilized behavior to whiteness, which is very dangerous. Right. Because I know plenty of queens that will cause chaos and chop off motherfuckers' heads. So don't act like a queen can't get this shit started. Right. Uh, this uh, queens aren't um always so you know nice and polite and contrite and not trying to fight anybody. No. The bitch, if right. I'm going to chop you, I'm going to off with your head. A queen made that goddamn order. <laughs> yeah. Off with that bitch head. I, Diva, what's like, to say I, somebody, I, I, somebody I, I, online didn't know what payola was? She said that Cardi B is paying people to pay her, play her record. Right. I'm sure some they, people pay people they, to pay play your records at the beginning, girl. Come on now. Right. They probably still are. <sighs> Poor Nicki Minaj. I just realized I just feel like this is her this is this is our last descent before we land. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get it out if I can. Honey. I think that I think that's what's going on. What she should do is finesse her way and get her, her ass a radio show. And have your own radio show. Because you can't, you can't, she can't understand that these girls is coming in the game and they're good and the internet is here. I mean, even though she came out during the internet, but now the the, the girls are on SoundCloud and they they get out here. They're getting signed from reality shows. Mm -hmm. You the queen. Can't nobody move you. (laughs) But I thought she didn't have nothing against her. So what was all the energy on Queen Radio today? You, you, I'll, I'll, just tell the truth. Tell the people what your problem is with this woman and move on. And, and right, just be don't, honest don't about even it. Talk about this bullshit about what happened at that party. Don't even bring that up. Let's talk about what you are really upset with this girl about. But she says she's not. She doesn't have anything against her. That's the, what I, I, I mean, apparent. that. What I. That's apparent. So Carter just coming at you, coming at you for no reason. Yeah. She'll know. Because that's, that's, that's the narrative you're putting out there. Like, you confused as to why she's coming out after you. She's always confused. I don't know who you're talking about. And, like, you want to run up there, like, that same energy you have for Miley Cyrus. Why you didn't have that for Cardi B? Right. You what? Was that the time and place? Right. On you, stage? You were accepting your, fucking, uh, accepting your fucking award. Right. Bitch, Diva, what? Cardi B is going to get the Grammy. And I hope she, 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 I hope she dedicates that grammar to Nikki. What she, what she, what should her acceptance speech be? Uh, this is for my sister Nikki, girl. I know you haven't been up here yet. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> girl, I know you haven't been up here yet. This one's dedicated to you <laughs> and your barbs. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I think it's crazy if you ask me. The fans are are really crazy. That shit is so funny to me. Just reading their comments, that shit is hilarious to me. It's like you can be, you can, you know, ride for your girl, but also be objective at the same time. Like, right. This is my, that's my thing. Be objective. Say, like, what, what like I could, be, like, see, this is the reason because people be like, oh, you so hard on Nicki Minaj. You so hard on Nicki Minaj. You a Nicki Minaj hater. I come from a old. I come from a day where um, biters don't ever get love in the game. You bit a re- <laughs> female rapper. Come, in, you came into the game. You didn't come in at, at like that. That's what's really crazy. And you switched up your whole little style, your persona, got a butt, all of that stuff. Turned yourself into a Barbie. Even call your fans Barb's. And took Lil' Kim's style. Never paid homage. Never gave her respect. In fact, talked shit about her. Called her a monkey. Mm-hmm. Said all kinds of things about this woman. Said but, she needs to give it up. Uh, but you want Cardi to respect you. It's so weird. 
It is. You want Cardi to respect you. It is so weird, Diva. It's so weird to me. But instead, instead, and, and you know, you you going off the hinges with this girl. You know, this girl got success pretty quick, quicker than what she, she did. And you know why? <laughs> because she's likable. And she's being herself. She's being herself on a record. Off the record. <laughs> And y'all feel like, okay, she has something to lose. There's so many people who have something to lose. They mm-hmm. overdose on drugs. They got all the shit to lose. You think somebody having a kid, they mm-hmm. really, and especially when you're talking about their child, people will go to jail. People will die over their child. So you talking about my child. I don't give a fuck who's around. We gonna fight, right. bitch. And you better, mm-hmm. since you want a son, bitches, you better be here ready for me. Not right. hiding behind, not in the corner. I, that was so embarrassing. Oh my god, I was so embarrassed. You didn't even talk shit back. That's the crazy right. part. That, that that was the the. She probably was caught off guard, and probably thought Cardi was not really about that life, or or or, or in her her mind, her mindset was, oh, she's not gonna act up here. She's not gonna act up here. She's not gonna do that here. Right. Surprise, bitch. Right. Honey, she, th- she took her shoe off and <laughs> threw her shoe at her because she getting, couldn't get close to her. And she, Cardi walked out like, hmm. They had that knot on her hair, bitch. Now this bitch know not to fuck with me again. That's what that face looked like to me. She got a knot on her head. Nikki didn't do that. Right. Nikki didn't even talk loud enough to spit on the bitch. Right. You had to, you had to turn your volume up to hear whatever the fuck she was saying somebody on twitter erica i cannot believe you're co-signing this this silly behavior i'm let me tell you something i'm always here for somebody who's getting bullied to confront their bully i'm always here for that i'm always here for somebody confronting their bully however way they need to ain't no time and place ain't no ain't no right time and place bitch i see you what you thought we was? Di- I was gonna act different because these white folks were around, bitch. Right. What you thought? Yeah. I don't give a fuck about these white people. Cardi B done told you I, on several different occasions you don't give a fuck about these white people. Right. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. I can't. Leave the girl alone. Now, what do you think she's gonna do in response to this Queen Radio? All I think, I think she should just. I don't think she's gonna say shit. She's gonna I put out. She needs to put out a disc record and call she, it she a day. Go, she better go ahead and put out this. I think she was supposed to be doing like a, another like little project. I think she's gonna put that shit out. And watch this shit chart. Oh, and pri- uh, invasion of part in privacy re-entered the chart at number thirty-five. Right, and she got she number two and three on the Billboard top one hundred. And oh, Barbie Dreams video came out tonight, so I gotta go see it. I like the song. I like the other song. I like, I like, I like, like the, the song where she say. I like the song. What's the song where she say something about she don't make no damn sense? Um. Uh-huh. Mississippi. She tried to say something about Miss a play on word for Mississippi. Miss Miss Mississippi. I don't know what she tried to say. What's the song that she just came out with? What's the name of the song she came out with? Um, that she performed at that award show when she was in the World Trade Center place where the World Trade Center is. What's the name? I don't, don't know. I don't know the name of the song. <laughs> I could look it up, but I don't really give a damn. But I like that song. Uh- she said she wanted to punch Travis Scott in the face. Nicki Minaj is crazy. Right. Nicki but, I mean, Minaj. Her first time getting, number, getting number two. I her think first she really album. She I mean, Pink Print was not, it chart, It came in at number two. I don't understand what's the problem. Like, she wanted that number. She had to have that number one spot because Cardi had it. And she wanted to sell more records than the girl. She didn't do that either. I guess it was Barbie Dreams. She got on her radio show. I can't wait to Cardi B. And you be, oh, the girls, they need to support each other. Not if you're talking about my kid. Not if you dissing me on the low. I don't got to support you just because you got a pussy, bitch. I don't. Right. That's the truth. I'm going to support you if you do, (laughs) if you're a woman and you're doing good. I'm not going to support you just because you're a woman. I don't, I, if I don't like what you represent and your principles, morals, and values on the line with mine, bitch, I ain't supporting you just because you got a pussy. Right. Are you cra- fucking crazy? 
You got to be out of here. Woman to woman? No, bitch. We not doing that. We don't do that. And why is it only one woman at a time? Okay, well, it doesn't have to be one woman at a time. If the one, People, you, you if the one woman, let me finish, let me finish. If the one woman would take it upon herself to grab the other girl that they're trying to put on the top and say, we're going to do a song together. Whoever's the hottest girl out right now, Jennifer Lopez does it. Beyonce does it. They grab the one that's hot. Beyonce used to do it all the time. Who she do it with? She, Shakira, every time Shakira would come out shaking her hips, Beyonce was in a goddamn video with her. Lady, Lady Gaga came out, Beyonce was in a goddamn video with her. Two vid- was she in two videos with her? So you, if you see a girl coming up and she, and she got a lot of fans, grab her and do a song with her. You don't have to keep feeding this idea that it could only be one female rapper at a time. You don't have to keep feeding that, but she loves that. She was happy that in the past seven years, she was the only one that was allowed to, you know, um, how do you refer mainstream pop 40? You want to call her? She made that song with the green fluorescent hair on the beach. I said, oh, that's a rap. She ain't... What, is... <laughs> what is the fuck is that, bitch? Right. What well, are you trying to do? That's Who are you trying to remain true to? What you trying to... She, but she's a performer. That's why she's able to... That's why you don't know who she is. That's why she does a character every album. It's a new character. It's not a new image. Like, I'm going to use Madonna as an example. Every single fucking album Madonna came out with. She reinvented herself, had a new style, had a new flavor, whatever the flavor was. Mm-hmm. Little Kim did the same thing. Every time she came out, she was looking different. Every time. You come out, you looking the same. You're talking about the same shit. You got to evolve into this. You got to evolve. You got to you gotta be who you are. You got to tell your truth. People want to know about you. You're 35 years old. You came out when you were 25 and you're still talking about the same thing. And then now you fighting with other 25 year olds trying to, trying to knock them out of their spot as, as though you weren't there before. Right. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's disappointing. It's actually, it's crazy. And why isn't she being held accountable for the things that she does? And why, and why is everybody take, I, I, I'm just looking at these quotes about the things that she said on the radio show. And it's really just a projection of how everybody is talking about her. She called that girl a pig. Let me see. Yeah. I was like, what did she really call this girl a pig? She's advocating to tell me she's advocating for women, but you try to get, <laughs> you try to get, you didn't want, Remy Ma to work on you didn't want people to work with Remy Ma. You was calling people not to play um Sheether, getting mad at Charlemagne because he was talking to somebody. Like you getting mad at people. I don't remember she added a damn fool on American Idol with Mariah Carey. Child. I know who she thought she was coming against a Mariah Carey, honey. She couldn't do it. She couldn't. <laughs> okay. I'm all about women empowerment. Snatch the songs from my girl, K Michelle. K Michelle talked about that. I don't understand why. I don't understand why everybody under it's like what she's saying. It's like, yeah, she's right, but she's talking about herself. What are y'all talking about? I was like, y'all are crazy. I don't know. I, I can't talk about this anymore. My brain cells are fried. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm gonna go finish smoking my reefer. I don't have nothing else to say about Nicki Minaj because I, I just can't. I just don't understand. The whole shit is weird. Get her some help. Bitch, we've been saying that about you for the last four weeks. Either you have a mental disorder or you on drugs. Um, You know what? I've said it that I, uh, you know, I believe that because of the foreign substance that's in her body, those things tend to attack your central nervous system. And you might be, she might be on pain pills. She might be having, going fucking crazy. I don't know what the fuck. Or she might just be an insecure bitch who doesn't want to lose her fucking spot. Right. And she going about it all the wrong way. All the wrong way. Because at the end of the day, the question still remains, why did that girl react like that towards you? Why? Because mm-hmm. it is not out the blue. It's not mm-hmm. for no reason. Mm-mm. It's not because she don't like you because she's been saying she don't have no problem with you. She's been saying right. everything. Why, 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 why would she like you? 
what would be the reason? Because you just Because right. you ain't stopping no Because what? You're not stopping nothing over there with cars. Mm. Nothing. I don't get it. And she got more money. That's what she. That's what the people said. I don't. I don't understand what. What the fuck does that mean? What does, what does that have money? What does what does money have to do with anything? She got more money, but they ain't the same fucking party. <laughs> they at the same party. At the same parties. <laughs> Her and Cardi. Cardi and the bar, Barry and the Ferrari, honey. She want to party with Cardi. Yeah. <laughs> She, um, I don't know. I don't know, Nicki Minaj. I don't know what the heck is wrong with you. I don't know why you thought this girl wasn't going to do anything to you or say anything. Maybe she, she, maybe Nicki Minaj thinks she's her. Like, she's like her. Maybe she doesn't believe that, the things that she talks about in her raps. Maybe. Maybe. Because it's clear that you don't embody what you talk about in your rap. So maybe she thinks the same of other female rappers. But you know what I read a lot though too? I don't know if you have too, but a lot of people were like, where are the receipts? Where are the receipts? Is that all she did with you? Like, it's, I, I'm sure it's a lot of things that this woman has done that we're just not privy to. Well, I don't think anybody just would just honestly make up something just to have beef. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I think like, I, it, and it's something that small, like, you know, it's like you, everybody has their breaking point. It could be something very small as you getting somebody honking their horn at you and you jump out of the car and go crazy on them. It's something small and it right. may be small to you, but after an accumulation of things and constant hearing things said about you after a while, it's just like, bitch, listen. You don't want to say that shit no more, bitch. You just gonna have to like, fight. I, I can't. I'm gonna let right. you know that because I don't think, like, I really don't think. I think she had enough sense to know. I'm just going to pull a love and hip hop fight scene on her and let the security guard stop me, and let this mm-hmm. bitch know I'm not playing because I really believe Cardi B could have got close to that bitch if she wanted to. If she wanted to, <laughs> you she know, easily. He could have fake, yeah, faked it like she was giving her a hug. I just wanted to give and, you, and all, I wanted just to give you all the respect that you wanted to want me to give you that you couldn't give to little Kim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you stole little Kim's whole style, whole style, and they let you live because you was young. She was in jail, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Baby, you, know, you were young, she was in jail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. <laughs> what, what was, who was going to stop Nicki Minaj? Who was going to stop her? Nobody had Lil Kim's back. Lil Kim went to jail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And that's what I keep saying. I'd be so mad at me. Every time, every time I think about how Nicki Minaj came in the game, I think about I think about Little Kim, and I think about bitch. When you got out of jail, Little Kim was so mad at Nicki Minaj for not showing her the respect that she felt that she deserved, that she paved the way for, and she was so focused on that. She put out a couple singles. But they didn't really catch, you know what I'm saying? And she, I think she was so focused. I was so mad at Kim. I was like, bitch, just put a fucking album out. Now right. everybody, and it's so funny because everybody's saying the same thing to Nicki Minaj. All this talking you doing, bitch, put an album out. This Cardi, see what happened. She on Queen Radio, honey. Holler at the top of her lungs like a that goddamn. <laughs> I said, why, oh, she, why is he hollering? I said, I thought she, wait, because everybody like, she going off on Queen Radio. And I was like, well, I thought she didn't have a problem with Nikki. I mean, with Cardi B. Why is she yelling? <laughs> she, she yelling in the microphone. Low, low, low key, I think she was, she was hoping this day came. She was hoping she what? Was hoping, she was, I think low key, she was hoping that this day came. You so she could so? really just let it all out. Man, if she talking about herself, go listen to those clips, Diva. She ain't doing nothing but projecting. She's talking about her to herself. I said, "Oh, Nicki Minaj, you didn't lost your damn. You didn't. You was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, girl. You was out of here. You didn't jumped out the window." 
Because you was, jumped out the window. <laughs> you jumped out the window. I don't. I don't understand it. Her the fans is was crazy to me. I said, "You motherfuckers is crazy!" Like really, oh, great. They, the they real really fanatic know. fans. I'm not talking about the people who like Nicki Minaj. Like, okay, I like Nicki Minaj. I like her song. I'm talking about the motherfuckers who got they fa- her face as their profile picture. Those crazy motherfuckers. Right. Oh. She probably don't want to say that she actually hit Cardi B because she doesn't want to get arrested for libel. First of all, libel what? have nothing to do with assault, bitch. You stupid you bitch. <laughs> It's some, it's some kids who mama ain't raised them. <laughs> kids are off, kids off limits. Cardi B gonna throw her shoe at you. <laughs> Bitch, I, I saw that. that shoe come from the. <laughs> Girl, did you see that meme they had of uh, Big Frida talking yeah. about Cardi B shoe? <laughs> and she was all up to the camera like. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bitch, that shit was hilarious. Dude, were you trying to find it? Uh huh. You're so stupid. <laughs> your ass is crazy, diva. What? Your ass is crazy. Okay, diva, we got to go. We've been talking for a damn hour. Damn bitch. Right, run our mouth. Not talking about nothing. Oh, you trying? Oh, oh. You're a little dragon. You're a little. You're a little meow. Well, we're going to see what's, how this is going to transpire. I hope that Cardi just really just puts out a diss record and just disses the shit out of the Nicki Minaj. This is what the fuck I'm talking about, so bitch. Too. I'm talking like, you know, oh, I don't understand why y'all think this idea that women are supposed to behave and then this other idea that black women are supposed to act a certain way. It's like, no, niggas is tired of acting a certain way. Bitch, stop talking about me. Stop talking about me. Stop talking about me. I'm, I'm done talking to you. I'm t- done smiling. I'm t- done telling these reporters that I don't have a problem with you, bitch. It's all I popping. I do now. Uh-huh. We got a problem now, bitch. And this was and that little thing, that little heart that you pressed on Twitter to show that you like that bitch's comment. Said it almost up. got your ass beat. Beat. Dragged. Almost got you dragged. <laughs> she, she didn't touch her. She got a knot on her head, though. Nikki didn't do nothing. Like I said, she she was so far away from her and talking so low, bitch. You couldn't even spit on the bitch. You wasn't even talking shit back. That's my thing. Like, bitch, fuck you. That's what I mean. Like, what are you talking about? Get your right, ass out of here. Bitch. Get like, escorted out of here. Like, at least talk shit, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? You gonna wait till the next day on Queen Radio. Nigga, that is your girl. To add a damn fool. Honey, don't don't mess with the queen. <laughs> Honey. Everybody want to be the queen, but Every, and everybody want to be the queen. Everybody want to be the queen. Everybody think a queen is all, all she doing is. Oh, hi, everybody! I'm so polite and cute and sweet in my lace collar and my prayer cloth. That's what they think being a queen is. Do you know queens have destroyed countries, bitch? Do you know they have destroyed land, men, crops? People. Everything, or bitch. Fucking chopping motherfuckers' heads off. Chopping niggas' heads <laughs> off. Stabbing niggas in the back. Poisoning right. motherfuckers' queens. Fighting. Was Fighting. It, was it, was, uh, what was it? What was, what was, what was Joan of Arc? She wasn't was no queen or princess or something. She wasn't nothing. I don't know what the fuck. I don't get me talking about no white woman. I don't know nothing about no white woman. <laughs> I know Harry. I know Harry and Tubby wouldn't give a fuck if some white people was around. Bitch, I'm trying to get these slaves out of here. Since you want right. to compare yourself to Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman would have been talking bitch. shit, bitch, trying to be all nice. I'm bitch, staying over here, girl. Bye. That's your girl, Nicki Minaj. I can't wait to see how this Wait, unfolds. Okay. That was the first time I actually listened to Queen Radio, to be honest. I listened to it today because they were talking about it on Twitter. And I knew I wanted to talk about it, so I wanted to hear from my damn mouth with my own context what she said. I wanted to hear the crazy shit she was actually saying. Go listen to that. She's saying everything she's saying, she's talking about herself. Go listen to those clips again. You listen to all of it? I, uh-huh. I listened to all of it, and then um, I listened when... When did I stop listening? She was talking about something. No, I think I listened to the end. Because she was talking about... I think I think I listened to the end. 
because I was listening. I was it was on my phone. I was listening on my phone because I came in when Flex was doing like a mix of all these like old songs, and his voice is so fucking annoying. And I know he can't help it, but fuck. Ugh. Um, and then they were talking some more, and then that's when T.S. Madison came on and was talking and was saying that you know we just want to hear some music from y'all. Now you didn't you didn't drew the line in the sand, bitch. With this radio show, we want to hear some music. Stop all this hype. And it might end up, we don't want anybody to end up like Tupac or Biggie. But you just told the bitch, don't do nothing because something about, the, what did she threaten her? What did she say? What did she, she say? She said, she said, you put your hands on some people, you will die. Well, Cardi B probably would have tried to hurt you real bad for talking about her child or agreeing with a negative comment about her child. I don't know. I'm, I'm, the other boy. I'm done talking about these hoes. <laughs> until the next until the next radio show, until the next disc record, or the next post. We'll talk about it another day. Y'all stop stop, you know, stop behaving for white people. I don't already told y'all that. I have a whole ass video about Stop behaving for white people. Stop it. Right. Stop it. Stop it. So they ain't behaving for your black people. And, and not even that. They don't. How you believe they will perceive you if you act a, sep- a different way other than yourself, you're wrong. You, wrong. you are who you, whatever they think you are, no matter what you do, you are going to still be that person after that. They will use you. You could, you can be nice and do everything. They're going to still think about you what they think about you. Mm-hmm. They're going to act like you, your friend, everything. As soon as they get mad at you, you're going to be a nigger. Nigger. Mm-hmm. You're going to be a nigger. Or the aggressive black person. Aggressive. You don't have to be so aggressive. <laughs> you don't to. have to be so ghetto. Are you upset? Why are you I so know upset? you. I know I'm not too Why ghetto. Why voice elevate? <laughs> you know I'm not too ghetto. Right. Faith told y'all. Faith, they said Faith and Mary fought, was fighting at Puffy's party. I don't believe that. They said we wouldn't see no videotape of that. Them old people don't know how to use their phones. <laughs> <laughs> you damn sure ain't. You ain't gonna see no video, honey. Cause they, hey, and if even, honey, they come from a day, honey. We ain't, ain't no cameras. Right. Ain't cameras. No cameras. Everybody put their phones away. Everybody put t- keep their phones in the car. Everybody put their phones right here in this basket. No phones allowed. No phones allowed. I'm cutting off cell service up in this motherfucker. Ain't no Wi-Fi in here. Ain't no cell service in here. This is a dead zone. Anyways, Diva, I'm done talking about Onika and Belle Calise. <laughs> she said mm-hmm. Belle, she said Belle Calise came in her culture. That's crazy. And the bitch is from the Bronx. Girl, anyway. All right, Diva. Well, that's all I got to say about this shit. That's all I got to say. I don't know. Next time we can't smoke and it's video. <laughs> oh. No, bitch. I had my taco salad. I'm full. I'm about to go relax and elevate my foot. Yeah, I gotta elevate my leg. You're a whore. You jealous? You mad? <laughs> Diva, did you watch Married to Medicine? Go watch it. All right, y'all. All right. Bye, Diva. Bye, Diva.